Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Life Tommy C. I'm your host, uh, Tommy Cunningham. We need to talk about his night so far and about some stuff uh, lately, lately we need to talk about regarding regarding the uh, the bus radio here in Bloomington about about a couple things that I think that's really suspicious about it. Which I've been hearing like other people talk about and like some other people are wishing that they could listen back to it. So do I. So So, also, just to show you guys something. We're getting ready to watch uh, an episode on how to do YouTube, so... So, also let you guys know, if you guys see those two windows closed, there's a reason. Plus, plus also, um, if you guys have like the unit in Home Patrol 2, or the BC-125 AT, you guys would not even pick up the DMR radio frequencies out of the bus system now. Because they turned their old LTR system, their old LTR system to now a different system. And now that, that electric communication system, like every time I listen to it, it gives me like a different radio communication from like, from like those little FRS radios that I like to use you guys now. If you guys haven't watched my channel, I'll start watching my channel because because I've been watching those different kinds of videos and and also and also if you guys think that there could be like 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 there's three different kinds of DMRs okay there's DMR Tier 1, DMR Tier 2, and DMR Tier 3. Tier 2 also has a hybrid, which that's what the ARC Encounter uses there in Williamstown, Kentucky. And I do not know what the Creation Museum uses I don't know if they use a LTR system because they are probably part of that system which is there at the ARC encounter plus plus also just to show you guys like what my video looks like I'm watching this I'm watching about how to make a good YouTube video right now on my TV. And also, and, and then after that, there are like, like, I don't know, there are like, three different ideas 
for different people that's wanting to get started with with ham radio. Like uh, number one, there's like the biggest ham radio user that some people like to use. Which that's DMR tier two. Then DMR tier three is a bicep of that exact same radio. Now, now the Baofeng UB5R, that is none of that, okay? The Baofeng UB5R is like, it's like a ham radio. You can also use it to use tear stuff. Like, like during the day, you, you, you guys see that there's like no radio frequencies going on during the day. You guys could probably go on to their frequency mode and like scan the local frequencies and see what you guys got. Because this area where I live honestly has like a lot of radio frequencies like you guys can listen to. Like over there at the village, they got a couple of radio frequencies that I can listen to like on those little walkie talkies. Now, now like another good idea, if you guys are just getting into radios right now, is to make yourself a to-do list on the different radio stuff you guys would like to listen to, okay? Because... Because, like, number one, there's probably, like, a radio frequency out of Cincinnati. But but you don't know if it's uh, DMR or not. And that's, that's the reason why there's radio reference. Now, all the hard rock casinos... In the United States are all like like number one there's one that is based up there in northern Indiana and that Hard Rock Casino is a NXDN so also there is a Pretty much all the casinos you guys listen to, like up there in the Niagara Falls region, a couple of those radios are LTR if you guys go, go to the Canadian side. And if you guys go to the American side, there is like a whole lot of different like radio tones. Like the uh, law enforcement, you guys cannot listen to the sheriff there. That's what I found interesting there, okay? And, and, and then after that, you guys are probably thinking, like, where are you getting it on this? You talked about LTR standard, you talked about DMR, and you talked about NXDN. Those are all the different radios that they have here in the United States and in Canada. Now, if you guys go over there to, to the Bahamas, to like, let's say, Atlantis, they have a 
maintenance radio frequency you guys can listen to. And they also have a science buffet. And then after that, if you guys... If you guys go on down, down to the Green Cayman Islands, their public safety is on like a totally different system, okay? Their system, you guys got to relay, is that if they use like a four digit system, that's the type of system that you guys will be getting. And then like on the cruise ships, they use different radios to, like to connect with the port master, okay? Now the port maker, the port master controls each port. And, and then, and then after that, you guys are probably wondering, Tommy, let's slow down, okay? If you guys are probably thinking, Hey, this guy needs to go on a trip right now. I already been on four trips this year. And sadly, the cruise line is not going right now because of the silly COVID. Now... Now, now, if you guys go to the U.S. Virgin Islands, that's a totally different area of, like, radio frequencies. Because they are further down, down the river in the U.S. Virgin Islands. That's where St. Krauss is. That's where St. Thomas is. And St. Martin is. And then there is like Port Rico. Okay. Port Rico has used like a different amount of radios just for their police. Okay. And, and then after that, you guys are, are probably thinking, okay, okay, so now you talked about all the Caribbean except for one island, the Turks and Caicos, but why not the Turks and Caicos? The Turks and Caicos have a good area But, but they use, like, a different amount of, like, radios. Their place, once you guys touch down there, you're right in the middle of the tourist center. And that's, like, the only center, of like, once you guys get out, out in the middle of the road, like, getting over to your next excursion. You guys don't know where you, you guys are going next. And then after that, there is like so, so much stuff that you guys can do like on a cruise ship that we have not talked about in which I'm planning to go a little bit more in depth on. So this is only video one, okay? There's gonna be a video two coming up. 
in the next couple of days while I, while I apply information that I think of, which would be really, really, really good for like new radio lovers. In the Caribbean islands, in Canada, and in the United States. Alright guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys didn't, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys like. Uh, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video.